Hey there, Red Devils fans. We've got some thrilling updates for you. Please subscribe and turn on notification for daily Manchester United news updates. Kabi Mainu reveals how he found out about his England promotion after Gareth Southgate recognized his stellar Man United form. As Harry Maguire and Bukayo Saka welcome him into the senior fold. Manchester United wonder kid. Kabi Mainu has revealed his shock at being handed his first senior England call-up. The midfielder, who has burst onto the scene this season, was originally called into Lee Carsley's under-21 party, but was handed a promotion into Gareth Southgate's squad on Tuesday, ahead of the games against Brazil and Belgium. The 18-year-old, who is also eligible for Ghana, will now stake his claim for a surprise place in England's Euro 2024 squad. He was pictured greeting United teammate Harry Maguire and Arsenal's Bukayo Saka as the squad checked in at their Staffordshire base ahead of the Wembley doubleheader. Speaking outside St. George's Park, Menu said, It's a bit different. I mean, I got called up to the under-21s and then got a text from Steve Holland Southgate's assistant. He told me to come to meet him in the reception and just told me that I've been called up and that I'm going to be with the squad for the week. I don't think it's really sunk in yet, but I'm excited for the week. My new added his family are all buzzing after his promotion. The midfielder has previously represented England at junior level, but hasn't been capped at either under 20 or under 21. There are yet to be any withdrawals from the current squad, but vice captain and senior midfielder Jordan Henderson was substituted in some discomfort when playing for Ajax at the weekend. Mail Sport reported last month that Mai Nu was planning to keep his international options open amid interest from Ghana. The Stockport-born player would qualify for Ghana through his parents, with Ghana FA board member Randy Abbey telling the Times that they are hopeful of persuading Mai Nu to switch his allegiance to the Black Stars. However, those hopes have faded as England have swooped in and offered the teenager a chance to make his senior international debut later this month. Under FIFA eligibility rules, a player can change their nationality at any time if they have only played in friendlies, while those aged under 21 can also switch after three years if they have played fewer than three competitive matches. Mainu has made 20 appearances for United this season, including their dramatic 4-3 win over rivals Liverpool in their FA Cup quarter-final clash. The senior side plays Brazil on Saturday and Belgium next Tuesday to continue preparations for this summer's European Championship in Germany. Meanwhile, the under-21s have European Championship qualifiers away to Azerbaijan on Friday and at home to Luxembourg, played at Bolton next Tuesday. Again and again. The supercomputer is back, and this time it has predicted who will land the last Champions League spot. Currently, Aston Villa are in the fourth spot in the Premier League, but Tottenham and Manchester United are also chasing down Unai Emery's side. Tottenham dropped points after being thrashed 3-0 against Fulham, while Aston Villa struggled to only secure a point against West Ham. Whereas Manchester United had a terrific extra-time victory against Liverpool in the FA Cup quarter-finals on Sunday. Fans are now second-guessing who is going to land that final guaranteed Champions League spot this season. And the betting expert's supercomputer, Betsy, has run the numbers from last season, preseason, and the current season to see how the title race will unfold. Villa are set to hold onto their Champions League spot, while Tottenham and United must settle for a Europa League spot, as they are set to finish 5th and 6th respectively. There is still some hope for Tottenham though, as it's possible the Premier League will be awarded 5 places in the Champions League, which would mean they qualify. Meanwhile, Chelsea are set to make an impressive comeback to finish 7th and snap up the last European spot. And for Mikel Arteta, Arsenal will end their trophy drought as they are in line to finally secure the Premier League title. Liverpool crashed out of the FA Cup on Sunday, Ahmad Diallo's 121st-minute goal, which saw their hopes of a historic quadruple being crushed. But now it looks that the league title will also be out of their reach, leaving them to fight for Europa League victory. On the other end of the table, Nottingham Forest have slumped into the relegation zone after being slapped with a four-point reduction for breaching profit and sustainability rules. And now Forest's relegation probability has increased from 5.6%.
before deduction to 22.7%. But Nuno Espirito Santo's side are tipped to avoid demotion by four points, with Luton projected to finish below them at 18th. Meanwhile, Nottingham Forest face another points deduction next season, unless they sell a star player by the end of June. Forest are still seething at the four-point deduction imposed on Monday by an independent commission into the admitted breach of Premier League profitability and sustainability rules. The City Ground Club conceded to the commission that they had lost $95,536,000 over three years. With only one year in the top flight and two of those seasons in the championship, Forest were only permitted allowable losses of $61 million, meaning they bust the limit by $34,536 million. And the numbers contained in the official written reasons by the three-man commission show that Forest are already up to 26 Mother Mayors over their maximum loss limit for this season. Forest's calculations, submitted to the Premier League, showed a loss of $40 million in the 2021-22 season and a further deficit of $52 million last term. But even with two seasons in the Premier League, they are limited to cumulative losses of 83 Mallers for the three terms, including this campaign. That means the club went into this season 9 million over the limit, risking at least a three-point deduction. Forrest then told the commission the club was projecting to realize losses of approximately 12, 17 million for the year ending 30th of June, 2024. On a best case scenario, According to their own calculations, Forrest will be in breach of the limit by between 21 millers and 26 millers. But Forrest's initial calculations last season were based on them finishing 12th. Their 16th placed finish meant 12.5 millers in lost prize money. If a similar overestimate of Nuno Espirito Santos's side has been made this season, and the calculation took place before the commission's points deduction decision, then the scale of the breach would be close to the same 34.5 meters mark that was so costly at the hearing. The only way, then, to avoid being in breach once again would be to sell a major player, raising 30 meter plus in revenue before the end of the financial year on June 30th. Morgan Gibbs White would be the obvious asset to cash in on, but Forrest would lose at least 15 meters in amortization costs on any sale, meaning they would need to get a 45 bimeters fee to be confident of clearing the breach hurdle. If Forrest do stay up despite Monday's loss of four points, then they would face a repeat of the proceedings of the past two months at the same stage of next season's Prem campaign, and the likelihood of a tougher sanction. And even if they are relegated, then the later accounting reporting date for the EFL would be likely to see a deduction of Premier League points in 2025-26, if they were to earn promotion back to the top flight at the first opportunity, again and again.